We are Nick and Emily Rothstein. We live here in Grand Rapids. We have a almost two-year-old little boy named Graham, and we have a almost six-year-old Great Pyrenees named Molly. So Graham is just the sweetest little boy. He is um, very kind, gentle, fun. He loves people. We're blessed. I had a very normal, healthy pregnancy, and then I was just at work one day. Uh, I was 34 weeks along, and my water just broke. No signs, symptoms that this was going to happen. Dr. Byer came in, and he basically said to me that there's nothing I could have done, and he said that you're gonna have a healthy baby. You're just gonna have to probably stay a little while in Duluth. Graham came fast and furious into this world, and he was escorted down to the NICU. We were there for two weeks and by like day nine or 10, I got to the point where I was like, okay, if we're passing all these milestones, can we go home? And I just knew as a mother at that point, I was like, I just need to get this baby home. And so we did what we needed to do. I remember thinking that we were going to be bringing Graham home the next day, but not quite sure. Um, and we walked into the NICU room um, with Graham there and I saw on the board, it said, um, your goal for today is sleep in your own bed for Graham. Yeah, and so special. It was just like an instant like, okay, we did it. We are going home. It was just overall just a, the most overwhelming experience. An emotional roller coaster of excitement yes, to fear. To and fear. that was and really compounded by a recent pandemic, the fact that he was coming six weeks early, among other things. And yeah. I think they recommended that no. we not have any outside contact with Graham for the first several months so that normal safety net of family, friends coming by really wasn't an option for us. We were isolated in the NICU and then you got home and the place that you don't think you're gonna be isolated all of a sudden kind of had that feeling. Mm -hmm. So we had our first follow-up appointment with Dr. Murphy um, about a week or so after we were discharged. He said, because of because of you so little, let's, let's have you have home care come in once a week for the next month. I was like, well, that sounds glorious. So it kind of felt like we had that support network that was taken away from us, from that friends and family, not being able to be around Graham. They would sit there and just hold him and just overall just making sure that he was on track, you know, he was gaining weight and meeting all of those milestones that they would expect a newborn to be meeting. But then they also liked would check up on me and like make sure that I was okay. And they would sit on our couch for a little while and just be with us. Yeah. And so it was more than just checking a box of all of Graham's milestones. It was also making sure that we were okay. They shared a lot of life stories of their own parenting, which was also really nice to learn about them. It didn't feel like I was just at a, a doctor's appointment. Yeah. It was definitely a comfort, more of a comfort feeling. Yeah, it was extremely reassuring, kind of having those medical professionals saying that we're doing a good job, we're doing the things that we should be. But beyond kind of the medical approach, there was just definitely a very kind human touch that I think we are kind of really needed at that time of so much uncertainty in the world. So Graham is going to be two. I can't believe that he's almost two. Uh, um, he is learning to talk. He doesn't walk. He only runs, which is absolutely <laughs> ironic because that's that's us. Yep. Um, he plays great independently. Loves his cars and Legos, and mm -hmm. he's just a stellar kid. I get so excited when he wakes up in the morning, and I get so excited to see him when he gets home from daycare. He's the best part of our day. Yeah. And so I'm just so thankful that it all worked out. I think we just want to say thank you to every individual at Granitaska from you know, Dr. Soltis, our provider, to Dr. Bayer and the nurses in Women's Health and Birth, to um, Dr. Murphy and the home home care nurses that just took their, their time to be with us and get us through the most unpredictable time in our life and make us feel like we were at home and we were safe and that we were going to be okay. Thank you guys, we truly do appreciate it. And as challenging as that time was, we certainly do look upon it fondly. Yep, and we have Graham to prove for it. Yes. <laughs> we are Nick and Emily Rossing, and this is our Moments That Matter story of care at Granitaska Clinic and Hospital. Mm -hmm.